Okay, Coach, what can you say about that game and the way that the team played? Indiana gave us all we wanted, but I had 16 guys today that did everything. Every rebound, every block shot, everything any person did on team running team. Is a, we won by two points, so what does that tell you? And everybody played. I uh, give a big shout out to my guard, Owen, for holding down in the beginning. I give a big shout out to my bench coming off, even though I was hard on them. I give a big shout out to my coaching staff, Coach T, Coach Page, Coach Tez, for on the side seeing things that I didn't see, and my parents. I call them the village. A lot of people say family. I call my parents the village, so a big shout out to my parents also. Now, what did you tell your team when it, when it got close that they could actually come back and win this game. I told, I told them I was gonna cut them all if they didn't get their stuff together. <laughs> cut every last one up. No, I uh, <laughs> I told them, look, man, y'all know how hard our practices are. And y'all know what we do at practice. Calm down, get together. The, the group that came in right before the group that made the run, which would be Reed, Robog, LeBron, he came in with some big threes. That crew there really set the tone for the comeback. And I was really proud of Jokey, my big man, and my kid from Louisville coming down, playing big where he's supposed to play. And that would be KG, KG Cliff, KG Cliff. And Dante, oh my goodness, from Allen County, he came in and put in six buckets, man, back to back to back. So yeah, I just told him dig. Now your team is deep. So, and it's early in the AAU season, but what, what can you say about, about your squad? Well, they're splitting up after this tournament, so we're gonna have two teams. Oh, don't make that face, media, don't do that. Yeah, I gotta break I gotta break the fun bunch up. Um, yeah, we're deep. And you're gonna see uh, this next game, you're gonna see more of Braylon Whitlow, Jackson. You're gonna see more of uh, Reed. You're gonna see more of uh, Mac. Oh, my def oh, my defender king, the guard, Mac McKenzie. Yes, you're gonna see a lot more of them right there. And then Jackson's gonna be coming along. So you're gonna see the two teams split after this tournament right here. Well, what were some of the things you were hoping to accomplish at this tournament, other than cutting down the nets? I want to see what my practices and my kids' heart. Like, I got a kid that came back from a trade, Kyler. <laughs> and I want to see, what I want to accomplish was get some of my kids back where they belong, get them back in the gym, get them prepared for high school, because this eighth grade, they're no longer eighth grade. They're ninth grade, as far as basketball is concerned. So I just want to get them prepared for the high schools wherever they attend. So what are some of the adjustments you can plan on making? Okay, I'm gonna have a real big fight with my bigs. I don't know how to split them. And as you said, this this the fun bunch. I got Malik, Casey, Jokey, Smoke, Jackson who plays big, Dante play big. So I got a problem with that. It's a good problem, <laughs> but I take it. Now, you on the sidelines, it's hard to miss. What what gives you so much energy uh, that you bring to these sidelines? All 16 of them little Smurfs, I feed off of them. Feed off of them, my coaching staff, Coach Katina Spencer, who's in my ear 24 seven, telling me what she's seeing, what I'm not doing. Uh, just the little Smurfs, man, all 16 of them. They, 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 they fuel me. They say, Coach, blah, 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 blah. Coach, blah, blah. I heard the word Coach a hundred times in one game. <laughs>